Instagram. We're going to make ice cream again today with our um, somewhat wilted strawberries. And you can use any fruit or additive you like. I am just here to tell you guys. The base for it, I'm going to give you guys the base for it. Welcome to Sarah's Kitchen. I'm Sarah. We are in Sarah's Kitchen or inside Sarah's Kitchen. And um, I just added the ice cream video to my YouTube channel for the coffee ice cream. And I have this, I finished telling you guys that I have this strawberries that no one's touching they're not bad they're actually the ripest and nice and sweet sorry my coffee machine is going they're so good i'm just gonna slice them a little smaller i have about two cups of ice uh, strawberries we're gonna add to my saucepan and we're gonna cook them down get some of that moisture out of there with a pinch of salt. And yes, let me address those videos that you guys asked about the cake that I made um, for Chris. I'm going to put that on YouTube probably tonight or tomorrow. That's also an easy, quick recipe. So I will add that. You're asking, I'm listening, I'm hearing your comments. I will add that as well. I have made that rainbow cake that's the craze now again for so long. I made it, Darius is turning 17. First time I made that giant rainbow cake was for his 10th birthday. Uh, then I also made it for several of my friends' kids. I made it for their birthdays. It was a showstopper. It was when Martha Stewart came out with it and everybody was going crazy about it. And now they're doing this addition of this version of cutting the center out, which is so super simple. You just either make them, make them, bake them in those, uh, not cupcake pans, but the ones that there's a hole in the middle and you just chop the top off. That's super simple. Or you just bake it and take um, like a, uh, not a pitter, but like a cookie cutter, and cut the middle off. I did it the first way. I'll show you guys my little cheat sheet. And the other thing is, I thought, why should it be a giant cake? You know, there's just two people at home. It's just Chris and Corey. It's late at night. You know, I know I, I don't want her to feel like I'm shoving a giant cake to her. I just make a little sampley small version. You can taste it and enjoy it. It turned out so pretty. And I've been meaning to, I'm still cutting my strawberries and chit chatting with you guys. And I've been meaning to come up with uh, some sort of piping that I like that could be my signature piping. And I think I really like that piping. Let me know what you guys think on the Instagram post. Uh, I like that piping. It kind of looks modern, edgy. So that's going to be my go-to piping from now on. I play with a lot of pipings and a lot of decorations. There's so much that is constantly happening in this kitchen that you guys don't see. Uh, and we can't document everything. I would need a photographer, videographer to live with me and... That's not interesting. <laughs> My kids wouldn't enjoy that. All right, so here goes this. The strawberries are done. I just sliced them, you don't have to. I'm not gonna use a blender and get them all mushy. My kids and I like uh, a little bit more firm consistency on the strawberry in the ice cream. And also, I find that if they don't like the big chunk of ice cream, or the taste of ice cream, it's easier for them to scoop it out. So two cups of uh, slicey, slicely chopped ice uh, strawberries, fresh. You can also do frozen. 
and then a good pinch of lemon, about a tablespoon to that. Okay, we always add a pinch of salt. I just finished saying that, and a good pinch of salt. Every sweet should be a little savory. All right, and then we're gonna cook that down. And as that is cooking down, I'm going to use one of these heavy duty spoons. This doesn't need anything. I'm not even gonna add sugar to this. No, no, no. Nobody needs extra sugar. Nobody. The evaporated milk is going to add enough sweetness to this and this is just gonna make it extra special. Let me taste the spoon. Oh, perfect. That's all that's gonna happen there. Now we're gonna make our ice cream. Now, a little quick trick. If you want this to go quicker than usual, just put your tip, your mixer tip in the freezer, get it nice and cold. That'll get your ice cream happening way faster. Two cups of heavy cream. I know in baking, everything should always be room temperature, but when you're making ice cream or whip, you're whipping fresh cream, you want it to be cold. So, Right. Senora Ara, she just poured the one upstairs. One thing we always have in this house is cream and cheese and scoop this up. I want it to be two cups because I want to get. Quiero más crema. Por favor, ese finito. We've been making so much ice cream and dessert. All right. Yeah, this is finished. Finitito, finitito. Thank you. I hate to waste. I like to scoop all that in the top. All right. This is short a few tablespoons. While that's whipping, we're just gonna get that going. Keep an eye on your strawberries. Cook them down. You see all that steam? That's the liquid there. You wanna get that out as much as you can. And when you add the lemon and pinch of salt, that just brings the sweetness out of those strawberries. Gracias, yeah. Ah, but you're cute, a poquitito. You know how you add salt to onion when you're cooking? It just makes it cook faster. It releases its moisture. There you go. Gracias. Once that gets going, it starts to become more like whipped cream. That's when you're gonna add your condensed milk. Two cups of heavy whipping cream to half a cup of condensed milk or a third of a cup, depending on how sweet you like it. Kind of test it. I say go less, add more. And then all you gotta do, oh, senori, what's the plato para the ice cream? Para the freezer. So then all you gotta do is add it to your Pyrex with a tight lid or any dish with a tight lid, put it in the freezer, and every couple of hours, that's what I did last night, every couple of hours, you come and you turn it around. Yeah, yeah, you turn it around. Ah, uh, no. What it is that you want to know? You turn it and then you cover it again. And then once you do it two to three times, cover the ice cream tightly with pirate Pyrex, with, um, Parchment paper, push it down really firm, and then freeze it overnight. Boom, in the morning you have ice cream. And if you guys missed it, it's in the previous live for the coffee ice cream, caramel coffee, or I show you guys on the YouTube video, my ice cream 
Now you see what I'm doing with the strawberries. I'm just mashing them. Yeah. Make sure that your Pyrex dish or any dish has a top. There you go. That's the consistency you want your whipped cream to have. And then you're going to add your evaporated milk. Seriously, I think today I'm only going to add a quarter cup to this. I'm going to experiment. You guys should too, or take my word for it. I don't want it too sweet, especially because I'm adding fresh fruit to it, and that's going to be sweet also. Get it all out. That was a quarter cup. That sweet condensed milk goes a long way. And you know, why add eggs to this if you don't have to? I'm not anti-eggs. I'm not vegetarian. Somebody asked me, I'm everything. I really am, I eat everything. I like to some days just eat vegetables and some days I eat steak. You're gonna whip that up now really well. And look at this strawberry. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. How simple is that? Fresh strawberry ice cream slash gelato, light and healthy, perfect for these summer nights. You can also use frozen ice cream. I love these chunks of ice uh, strawberries in there. I am trying to mash them up, not so much to mash them up, but just to get that the juice is released, all the flavors, all the aroma. Thank you. Oh my god! And I forgot all about my ice cream. Look, ice cream. Well, yeah. then. Now this is your base for everything. This is your base, right? And all I'm gonna do is taste. Mmm. Okay. Morta. Adi abajo. No es mi plato. Look at that. Perfecto. Muy rico. Tú quieres? Ahora quiere. Look at that. <laughs> Y perfecto dulce. Mm -hmm. Yeah? No necesita más. No, we like it easy on the sugar. Now, all we're going to do... Thank you, Ara. Ara likes to clean that. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> See? All I'm going to do is... Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look. Perfect. So, all we're going to do... It's just kind of let this cool off. I can't add it to this now. And I won't add it to it. What I'll do is I'll drizzle it in between layers. And then when you turn it, when you come back and check on the ice cream in a couple of hours, every time you move it around, this gets in there. And you know what? I probably might not even add the whole thing to this. I'll save some on the side. Now, if you don't have time and you don't want to do this and you don't have strawberries, but you like the idea, sorry. Oh, thank you. You like the idea of strawberries. You can use your own favorite jam. I'm not going to come and give you a ticket. Do whatever you like. Whatever makes it easier for you. I'm all for that. If there's a really good organic, low sugar jam you like, go that route. Just take it out of the jar and pour it in between layers, blueberry. I'm all about cheat sheet in the kitchen if you have to. If you have time, do it. If you don't, then for God's sakes, do it any way you like. This is cooling off. I should probably remove it from the heat. Un este para otro plato. 
a sip and free up, no? Or what we'll do is put it in the refrigerator, but I want to, oh, let's taste it. Oh my God. Muy rico. And it's not sweet at all. It's kind of quite sour. Oh Lord. This is so good. Okay. Yeah, but I see. Now when you taste it and you feel like it's sour and you want to add sugar to it, go ahead. I'm not going to because my kids don't like too sweet. We're going to keep it as is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, por qué no? So let's switch the dish out. And I know so many of you are going to ask me about my Visionware cookware. That's this one. It's not Pyrex. This is Visionware. Google it. Visions cookware. Visions. Gracias. I'm going to get a lot of DMs about that. There it goes. We're going to refrigerate it and put it hello from everywhere i'm i'm live on youtube so i won't be able to chit chat i'm going to stick this in the freezer really quickly just kind of cool it off i tell you guys this is really kit a real kitchen we're really cooking if there's no magic of tv there's no magic here this is real real cooking Everything's sticky from that evaporated milk. So, o solo de este. Yeah, este. This I'm gonna keep because I don't wanna. I hate getting all these dishes dirty. Okay, so here's our ice cream. And you know what? We're gonna use the spatula that I had. I'm gonna scoop it in here. You can layer it, or you can just scoop it out. It's already getting the strawberries in there. Oh my God, it's perfect. There we go. Save that. I love these soft plastic spatulas. I absolutely love them. I cook with them, I bake with them. They're so much more user friendly. Scoop all of that goodness out. The event milk is the best thing invented on earth, I think. All right, people, that's that. That's our ice cream. That's my basis. For any ice cream you want, just a quick, easy, fast go-to. Not all that hard work, crack the egg, make your custard, add the cream, la 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 la. This is super easy. And less calories for sure. No more added sugar. It has enough sugar in the condensed milk. And no more eggs in there. I'm gonna cover this. Let's see if I can add the strawberries a little bit at a time now. No, it's still quite hot. No, it's super hot. The bottom of that dish is so hot. So I will cover this up and put it in the freezer. And then based on your liking, it already has some strawberries in there. Based on your own likes and dislikes, you add as much or as little as you like. And don't forget to turn it a couple of times and then give it a good rest for eight hours. Make sure you put a parchment paper over the top and push it down so all the air gets up after you add the strawberries. I'm going to put this in the freezer right now and then slowly add the strawberries. Um, on Instagram, I'll come back and show you guys when it's ready to add to be added to the ice cream. But on YouTube, I will post a picture later. Thank you for joining. Make sure you hit thumbs up, subscribe, 
and the notification bell. That way you know when I go live and add a new recipe. And you, my lovies, on Instagram, 